And now I feel like it's time, even though I feel like, again, Kirsten and I were ahead of the curve because we did cover some of this already. Yes. So look at us and look at you because you knew about it. Well, and also shout out to us for pushing recording by a day because there's now yes drama. Um, We are, of course, talking about the don't worry darling drama which i keep writing down as hello darling but like me not what it's called no but i've been doing it too it's both okay (laughs) um so the listen we gave you a little bit of the primer about don't worry darling we let you know that this is olivia wilde's second um movie that she's directing that she and harry styles fell in love there Way back, we talked about Jason Sudeikis serving Olivia Wilde with um, divorce papers at Comic-Con where she was talking about this movie. Like, Mm -hmm. we've given you a lot of pieces of this story over the past couple of months, but um, there's just the, the press for this movie has been a lot. Uh, and so there's like, there's like, we figured we should go into like the full deep dive of the whole timeline, everything that's happened. So this could basically be your primer on what the hell is going on with the movie Don't Worry Darling. Yes. And I love that because if you're confused, your besties got you. Okay. So I think we should go through the quick timeline yes. um, that we've like done a little bit of research to find. So July 2019, Don't Worry Darling is announced. Great, amazing. Um, turns out the script actually sparked a bidding war. Yeah, sorry, sorry, everybody. Just some audio issues over here. Uh, cut it out. <laughs> I don't know if it's possible. Um, oh, so God. yeah, so it was a huge bidding war on this movie. Um, and Olivia Wilde was like super proud of like. It, normally women don't even get a second chance to direct let alone to direct like something like this movie where it is a lot of money going into it um because like book smart was not like a big budget thing. yeah uh exactly so then from that when we get to the movies announced april 2020 okay so like fast forward almost a year shia labeouf and florence Pugh are announced as the film's lead which is interesting um i will say because again florence view amazing shia labeouf you why well yeah so and and so if anyone wants a little bit more background on shia labeouf like obviously we, we could do a whole like hour-long podcast on yes. what the deal with shia labeouf is um but a little primer you know he was a disney channel star child star he's incredibly talented as an actor um but one of those examples of like Someone who's very talented, but uh, based on all accounts is horrible. Um, And, like, there's a lot. Like, you can look up his arrest records to see a lot of things that uh, he's at least been accused of doing by the law. Uh, There's a lot of alleged abuse with domestic partners. Um, Allegedly. 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 (laughs) It's, It's all alleged. It's not... I, and nothing's, I don't believe, been uh, convicted of a crime. No. Um, there's also, um, what's especially interesting about this is um, when he was cast, it was, like, in the middle of all of his drama while he was dating uh, FKA Twigs, mm-hmm. uh, which, if you read her, like, blog post and everything, she's got a lawsuit against him that is currently pending. And so he was cast... Uh, well, all of this was at least like lightly public knowledge and only a couple of months before it like really exploded in the pop culture sphere. Yeah. So that's a little bit on Shia LaBeouf. So folks were like, this is interesting. And then, um, but Olivia Wilde was very excited and she said, you know, the cast is bananas. I'm the happiest director. La la la. Like this is a massive understatement, but like, Okay, she's then Florence Pugh is also reacted to the Instagram and said, you know, uh, with a tri- with positive tribute mm-hmm. to Olivia Wilde saying Olivia Wilde just tagged me in a picture. Oh, my God. Number one. And then number two or gas number two is that, you know, she called Olivia her idol and casted her in a film and she couldn't wait to join the project. All right. Everyone's very excited. Chris Pine is also part of this. Can And can I also say like. Do you remember when Chris Pine was hot? Because I feel like he's not hot anymore. 
I'm sad it's because sad. I was looking at him and I said, is that age or is that bad fashion? The hair is not working. And the facial hair. Mm -hmm. I'm just so confused because, listen, Chris, if your name is Chris in Hollywood, you fine. OK, I just mm -hmm. that's a fact. Um, in d different varying of fine, as we know, I'm obsessed with Chris Evans. He's the number one in all the Chris's for me. I agree. Uh, but Chris Pine, what happened? I yeah, I would love to know. Um, but yeah, so okay, within six months of the cast being announced, Harry Styles takes over for Shia LaBeouf, who leaves the project, and everything is reported like that it's about a scheduling conflict that you know he just didn't have time to rehearse or something along those lines, and so he is leaving. Pretty amicable, like there wasn't really a lot of uh, kerfuffle at the time. Yeah, and then uh, basically in a few months or two in two months in November 2020, Olivia Wilde says, oh, our, I did a little victory dance because Harry Styles is now the new lead actor in the movie. And she explained, you know, that like they were so excited that he joined the project um, and, you know, because they know that he is a real appreciation for fashion and style. OK, and this movie mm, show me where. <laughs> Listen, um, and then and this movie's incredibly stylistic. It's heightened and opulent. Remember, so the point is, some actors don't care, but Harry Styles does. Okay, thumbs up. Well, at we least you cared it. about knowing how to act or talk, uh, which we'll get to in a little bit. Yes. Um. So then we move forward, and then there was a People magazine article in December of 2020. Uh, saying that actually Olivia Wilde had fired Shia LaBeouf from the project. Uh, he did not leave due to a scheduling conflict. Um, they, it also came in a variety article. Like, there's a ton of articles about this. And basically it's it, it's saying that, you know, all of the uh, like domestic assault allegations were what actually resulted in him being let go. Mm -hmm. And he, he also talks about later on, um, he's talked a lot about just like that he has cheated on every single uh, person he's mm -hmm. dated, all of this. So like there's just a lot going on with him is what yes. you – that's the, the nicest way of putting it. Yep. Um, Beyond the Blinds did a podcast very recently going through mm -hmm. all of the blind items as well as arrest records for Shia LaBeouf. And basically it's all like – yeah, he claims to be a method actor so that he can do, like, really shitty things and be like, oh, but I'm preparing for work. Like, it's work that I have to cheat on you. It's, like, work that I have to be scary, uh, allegedly. <laughs> Yeah, and he does also talk about um on uh the real ones podcast, and he talked a lot about yeah in uh that he hurt uh, some people and blah 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 all this stuff, uh it's especially FK Twigs, and mm -hmm. you know he says like I hurt that woman is what he said, and you know in process of doing that I hurt many other people, um before that again why does he call her that woman but anyway um when I. I feel like FK Twigs um, uses they, them pronouns as well, so don't it, they? Listen. Oh, no, point, maybe not? No, I – maybe. I could be wrong. No, I think I'm wrong here. I don't know okay. why I had that um, in my head. Yeah, and then, you know, it talks about, like, I was pleasure-seeking. So, anyway, so point is he tried to do some kind of, like – apology non-apology okay but yeah but then also like deny matter. the allegations in court so exactly yeah so like bye uh and then turns out that the uh, people close to don't worry darling actually said that he ex uh, exhibited poor behavior and his style again style a uh, clash with the cast and crew who ultimately fired him allegedly allegedly did you know this is what blew my mind about Shia LaBeouf like all of, like, Kanye West's design decisions are based off of, like, Shia LaBeouf's fashion. Wait, are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, his, like, his fashion line, like, Kanye's line is, like, based off of, like, Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> Apparently, Kanye's, like, obsessed with him. So, Shia That's LaBeouf is homeless? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> it's like a Carhartt jacket. <laughs> homeless, not toothless. Oh, stop oh. this. Uh, no. I can't. It's a police. Sorry. Don't do it. 
I, I broke know. Sasha. <laughs> I did. Why? But it's okay. I think people that have like similar mental moments um, <laughs> are all together. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, we don't know. It's fine. Uh, and then in January uh, of 2021, mm-hmm. Olivia and Harry Styles are photographed holding hands, which we talked um, a little bit already. But yes. basically, rumors were they're dating and they I mean, attended a wedding, wedding together. Like, why are you going to a wedding together? After only dating a few weeks, that's. That's chutzpah. Okay. I feel like I like I've been to weddings where I was not given a plus one because I was not engaged or married to my partner at the time. Yeah. And we have been dating like five years and I wasn't allowed to have a plus one, which is like I'm not mad about it. If I told at the time I'm like, if I'm invited to a wedding, they will tell me if I get a plus one. Like that's not up to me. But who's letting this happen? I guess if you want famous people at your wedding. Yeah. I mean, and I'm assuming if you're running in the circle. You just have a few money. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't yeah, you're matter. Right. Um, so anyway, the weirdest piece, I think, of all of this is not their age difference, which there is a lot, um, is that the outing just came weeks after it was reported that her and Jason Sudeikis had split up. Mm-hmm. So just a little very messy. Yes. And well, and also, like, they probably had been split, like, way longer than that, um, but it's the type of thing where, like, in Hollywood, you you announce your divorce, like, at the time you want to. Like, normally things are done well before yeah. there's an announcement. Exactly. And then in February, Olivia Wilde says she has a no-asshole policy after firing Shia LaBeouf. Okay. Which, like, I mean, a fair policy to have, but, girl, what do you do? <laughs> So, you know, she's saying this, okay? And she noticed that, you know, as an actress for years, how the hierarchy of the set separated the actors from the crew in this very strange way that serves no one. I think actors would actually like to know more about what's happening there when you're when you're pulling my focus. What is the lens change? But the idea of don't bother the actors, keep them separate and look at them. I think it makes everyone quite anxious, okay? Because that is her number one rule. No assholes on set. It puts everyone on the same level. Yeah, I'm sure everyone's on the same level. Okay. Please. And then filming wraps, all right? Yes. In fe- in February 2021. Great. Um, They posted a group photo, you know, uh, and then... Harry Styles has his arms wrapped around Olivia Wilde. They're all smiling. To be fair, everyone is like, his arms are wrapped around her. And I'm like, he truly has one arm around her shoulders. Yeah, it's Um, very normal. Like, it really just looks like a very normal kind of awkward work photo. And here, again, this is Monday morning quarterbacking, I know. But (laughs) Florence is, like, in another dimension, it feels like, in this picture. Because it feels like you could crop her out. uh, Because Nick Kroll and everyone else is all together on one Mm -hmm. side. And I don't know who this – there's a man in gray. um, And uh, and then Florence is, like, they're literally wrapped around each other. Yeah, they have their arms actually around each other, and they are, like, a full, like, foot away from everybody else. Yes. Like, Miss Miss Flo does not look happy. Yeah, it looks like there are a few cast members. Uh, I'm assuming everyone with the mask on is cast members. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so then, uh, like, crew members, I mean, not cast. Oh, yes. But yeah. I uh, literally, I was just like, yep, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, crew, crew. They are, they are the cast. Anyway, so Olivia Wilde, you know, was just like, she wrote uh, about Harry Styles in the caption um, and, you know, said, like, not only did he relish the opportunity to work be, uh alongside brilliant Florence to hold the stage as our Alice, but he infused every scene with a nuanced nuanced sense of humanity. He didn't have to join our circus, but he jumped on board. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Okay, just like about him. But remember, she knew that there was a hierarchy. So I'm assuming hierarchy equals male actors get higher you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. They're they're higher in the hierarchy than women are. Okay, and here again, Miss Ma'am is saying, I don't believe in that, but then giving all the credit to Harry. Harry. Who's also her boyfriend, for the record. So it's like also nepotism at the same time. You'll have to see it. 
Uh, so it's 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 very classic. Yeah. And so then we kind of go a little bit quiet for a while yeah. until the press st- starts happening in December 2021, like January 2022. Um, Olivia Wilde uh, was on the cover of Vogue this January, and in her our, uh, interview, she talks about how "Don't Worry, Darling" was inspired by quote really sexy films like Fatal Attraction and Indecent Proposal. And the the direct quote is, I kept saying, why isn't there any good sex in film anymore? Ma'am, what are you talking? I feel like, like, have you seen Bridgerton? That's what I literally was thinking (laughs) about Bridgerton or just so many other ones. (laughs) There's a lot. Uh, And she's really going in about how this this film highlights female pleasure and it's about like a female like sexual attraction. And to me... Um, these comments, they kind of ring true with the same sort of energy we talked about last week with Harry Styles being like, gay sex in movies is always so, like, carnal and, like, <laughs> who t- like, it's, like yeah. rough. Uh, and it's like, okay, well, like, have you watched any movies? Have you seen sex scenes? Like, they've come a long way the last few years. Yeah, and I think the idea is great, right, to say that we need to show women in a different light or, like, or highlight mm-hmm. women. I think that's fine and great. It's just the way she says it and everything else that comes after. Yes. And also the way that she like exclusively is highlighting Harry Styles and everything that she's asked about this movie. Whereas like Harry Styles is a singer and he's a great yes. singer. He's not an actor. Like not everyone can do everything and that's okay. Um, Florence Pugh is so talented like she's so incredibly talented and to be getting like kind of pushed to the side like this is um, no good we love to see it because it's it's just it's she's trying to both and and it's not working that's my biggest yes, problem with Olivia 100%. Wilde uh and then the infamous I think this a lot of folks remember because in April of 2022 Olivia Wilde and we covered this here uh wow can you we've been going for I know. a while um, is served custody papers while promoting Don't Worry Darling at CinemaCon. And turns out those were later revealed to be legal papers served by Jason Sudeikis regarding their kids. Oh my God. And ugh, so messy. We've oh. been, th- and we've been through that. So. Yes. <laughs> and so- then in July, this is where y'all. Just like, please, I can't with this anymore. Um, Olivia Wilde then praises Florence Pugh, right? She's just like, uh, watching this woman work has been such an effing thrill. Can't wait to show you more. La, la, la. Mm -hmm. Uh, And then Florence Pugh in August, you know, also talks about sex. But the exact opposite of, I feel like, what Olivia Wilde said. Yes. So Florence Pugh is like, I feel like all we're seeing about this movie are the sex scenes. And, like, the movie is so much more than that. And, I like, I wish that we were getting attention beyond the intimate scenes. Um, she says... When it's reduced to your sex scenes or to watch the most famous man in the world go down on someone, it's not why we do it. It's not why I'm in the industry. Obviously, the nature of hiring the most famous pop star in the world, you're going to have conversations like that. But that's just not what I'm going to be discussing because the film is bigger and better than that. And the people who made it are bigger and better than that. Which also, can we just talk about like Harry Styles is the most famous pop star in the world right now, sure. And like... There's a lot of other music and then a lot of other pop stars. Just, I just needed to say that I like Harry Styles. Okay. Don't come for me. I'm just, it's a lot. I mean, listen, the Swifties didn't come for us last week. So I think we're okay. (laughs) Yeah. Like y'all know we, we just, we just speak in truth. Okay. And then uh, again, in August, uh, this is where it, I think is going to hell. Exactly. And this is where also around the time when a lot of rumors were swirling that Florence Pugh was like very unhappy with Olivia Wilde, the rumors that maybe she had had to do a bit more directing during the time on set, uh, that she's not posting about the film, like all of that, that was happening around this time. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so there's just a lot of going on. And then the Variety cover uh, comes out because Olivia Wilde shares, the, uh, you know, why she decided to cast Florence Pugh. And, you know, she's just like, how amazing it is, la, la, la. Um, and then she sh- tries to shut down um, all the, like, quote, unquote, clickbait rumors uh, saying that Harry Styles was paid three times more than Florence. Which we know, if you follow anything to do with Hollywood, you know this is most likely true. Just, like, look at the stats. It's Yeah, it's, it's actually alarming. I feel like the only time women actually end up getting paid, like, the same as the leading men is when the men on that film are like, no, I'm only doing it if we get paid the same. Yes. Uh, and, yeah. I mean, this is so big in Bollywood, especially, where, the, like, if it comes out that male actors are – getting paid like four times oh my god what? and they're also four times i feel like higher in age than the actresses lately Ugh. so it's just like gross anyway in addition to the pay disparity rumors there were also issues about a possible feud between olivia and florence because um seems like she stopped reacting to the instagram post yes. like and yeah. She didn't share the one of Olivia Wilde, like, watching her on the screen being like, oh, she's so fucking amazing. Yeah. So, you know, but Olivia Wilde was like, no, that's just the media, okay, coming out and saying this stuff. All well, right. show me the pay stubs. Th- listen, post it, because Florence is not coming out and saying other ways. So that's the tea on exactly. that. Exactly. Okay? Uh, and, and all this stuff doesn't just get leaked. I want people to know, like, someone is intentionally leaking this stuff. Yeah, there's a... Allegedly. I mean, here's the thing. People were really excited for Don't Worry Darling when it was announced. And then there really hasn't been that much fanfare until the last, like, three weeks or so. Yep. We're talking about the movie. Like, this is working. Um, I... I'm sure that there's a lot of, like, real interpersonal conflict behind the scenes. But at the end of the day, this is... It's working. We're talking about it. And I'm sure that the movie is going to do numbers in two, three weeks when it comes out. Three yep. weeks when it comes out. Big, big agree. Mm-hmm. It's going to do numbers. Uh, and I have another theory, but we'll we'll hear that at the end. Okay. So then um, in the same interview, she also talked about, again, what an idiot, but decides to talk about how her decision to fire um, Shia LaBeouf uh-huh. around the project the first time, you know, and it's, she's like, I say this as someone who's an admirer of his work. Stop. Did you watch Holes? You liked Holes? Okay. Well, I don't understand why we have to talk shit about Holes. Okay. No, it's a great I, film. Holes is great. And so is <laughs> even Stevens. But like, come on. You know what I mean? Like, give me a break. Um, yeah. And it's, then- it's, it's a thing where like. Talented men get given a pass all of the time. Yes. And it's just one more example of her. Even when she's sitting there being like, yeah, I fired him because he was bad. Uh, you're still being like, yeah, but he's so talented. Yeah. And then she's just like, um, his process in some ways seems to require combative energy. And I don't believe it's conducive to best performances. And basically just saying like his vibe was not it. All right, allegedly, well, according to her. And based on everything that comes up in the blind item, so obviously is alleged, like not yeah. confirmed. Um, whenever he's on set, he basically demands that his female co-stars have sex with him for like, me- quote, method acting. And I think, you know, Miss Flo at this point is more famous than him. So he didn't have the cachet to, to do that also, uh, which could have created problems for him uh, if, you know, the blind items are true which of course we don't know yeah which like god what women have done this please there's like stories of like megan fox sleeping with him Mm. and then he like in an interview was like yeah we slept together and then megan fox had to be like oh yeah me and um brian uh austin green were on a break like at the time (gasps) like oh my god (laughs) it's not good i can't never look at transformers the same again (laughs) And then um, she also talked about uh, allegations against him. And, you know, she said a lot have come to light, uh, which really troubled her. And, you know, she's wishing him health and evolution, a.k.a. live, laugh, love, uh, because she believes in restorative justice, which, like, good job for the PR statement that this person 
whoever her PR people are. Because mm-hmm. that's that's a great statement. Yeah, um, it, and but I'm just like, okay, show me the restorative justice, ma'am. <laughs> Listen, like I said, it's written well. I yeah. want to make that clear. Written but it, sa- it says it's a good words that say nothing. Correct. <laughs> just just a lot of buzzwords. We love it. And then what we really needed was the energy that was incredibly supportive. Oh, aka my man, uh, because he supports me. Ugh. And uh, particular with a movie like this, you know, because I knew that I was going to be uh, asking Florence to be in very vulnerable positions. Um, and she wanted to make her feel safe, which again, if there's all these sex scenes, um, Shia and allegedly Shia LaBeouf is asking for like that to happen in IRL. That's so disturbing. Yeah, and not good. No good. Uh, but then this is it. This is where yeah. it is done. This is Olivia where we Wilde. go like off the rails, truly. Because now, after a full like year and a bit. Shia LaBeouf was like, I'm done with this. I'm I'm sick of being, like, in headlines that I was fired from this. He's like, I was not fired from the film. I quit due to lack of rehearsal time. Here is Which is like, my- does he mean sex when he says rehearsal? Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh maybe. Okay, okay. Um, but... He sends his like full emails with Olivia Wilde <laughs> to the to Variety and yes. they get published in full. They're, literally, it's you and I both know the reasons for my exit. I quit your film because your actors and I couldn't find time to rehearse. Um, he also sent a video that Olivia Wilde, I guess, sent to him two days after he quit. And this vi- listen, this video, y'all, it, like, energy. <laughs> <laughs> when when we say that this is the most cracked thing you've ever seen first of all she she's like because i watched the video and she's like yeah i just finished like working out right or something why are you making a video what happened to email what happened to text message what happened to a voice note why are like nobody communicates this way like i feel like in movies they'll show people like sending videos back and forth and i'm always like that's not how people talk I guess that's how Olivia Seems Wilde like does it. And again, I'm so sad that my friends don't send me videos. You know, I get voice notes, but no videos. And that's so sad. I'll what start are y'all sending doing? you videos. Can't wait. Okay, we're all the tea. <laughs> um, because this video, y'all, is where it all goes to hell for, uh, I don't, <laughs> for don't worry, darling. Shia LaBeouf said, I got receipts. I'm about to get your ass. Yeah. It's a wrap for you. And it, And this, again, like I said, this is the downhill for everything because everything else has been set up before this so now the video says kirsten i feel like i'm not ready to give up on this yet i'm too heartbroken and i want to figure this out you know i think this might be a bit of a wake-up call for miss flow we're talking about your period i what are you doing uh and then i want to know if you're open to giving this a shot with me with us if like what Sorry, what is this? Is this like, did she get bro- dumped? Like, what are, ma'am? You are I mean, she did. He, he literally dumped he, her. He quit a job. Enough. But these people, right? Like, get over yourself. Like, stop this. Don't, don't embarrass yourself. Wake up. Stand up. And yeah, just, uh, and then, and then she goes, and then called her Miss Flo, right? Like, how condescending is that? Because she's been, you know, like w- the reason we built all this up is because we're showing y'all outwardly. Olivia Wilde has been like, oh my God, effing beautiful actress, thriller, amazing vibes. I want yeah. her to be safe. Ma, ma, ma. And then behind closed doors, look at her. Look yeah. at her simping for men. For like a very well known bad man. <laughs> Like, look at the internalized oppression. You know what I mean? It's too much. Oh, and then, no good. Uh, and calling her Miss Flo is so disrespectful. Uh, but then, you know, we're going to reclaim it, okay? Then he's, she says, if she, Florence, uh, really commits, if she puts her mind and heart into it at this point, and if you guys can make peace, and I respect your point of view, I respect hers, but if you guys can do it, again, it being what? Yeah, like the way she's talking in the video 
really backs up the allegations that Shia LaBeouf wants real sex um, for, quote, method acting. And that Florence Pugh was like, no, I'm not doing that. That's the vibe I get. Obviously, we don't know and we may never know. But that's just my personal view of the the mm. situation. It's so gross. It really is. Um, and then, like, ugh. he literally emailed her and was like, I know you're beginning your press run for Don't Worry Darling and that the news of my firing is attractive clickbait as I'm still persona non grata and may remain as such for the rest of my life. But... Speaking of my daughter, I often think about the news articles she will read when she is literate. And although I owe and will owe for the rest of my life, I only owe for my actions. So he said, what you're not going to do is drag my name for your damn movie. He's like, people can say what they want that's true about me, but you can't lie. And and is she dumb? Like, did you forget she made the video? Well, I guess she must have forgotten. But also, like... To me, this just backs up even more of, like, the really horrible stuff that's said about Shia. Because. Hundred. Then, yeah, this is, he's, now he's releasing receipts because it's not true. But he doesn't have receipts to back up the other stuff. Oh, my God. And it's just, I love that he concluded the email because he's like, firing me never took place, Olivia. And while I fully understand the attractiveness of pushing the story because of current social landscape oh. and social currency that brings, which I don't appreciate. Okay, like, don't, yeah, I don't shut like up. That. Listen, that we, he's an about. asshole. We've been new. Exactly. Um, It's not the truth. So I'm humbly asking. Shut up. Uh, as a person with an eye towards making things right. Okay, PR. Uh, That you correct the narrative as best as you can. And none. I hope none of this affects you negatively. <laughs> And your film is successful. <laughs> oh, man. So, no no good. Um, this is also around the time when we find out that Florence Pugh is only going to be at, like, two press events for this movie. Yeah. Like, she's skipping out on the full press circuit, um, including yesterday. She yes. skipped the press at the Venice Film Festival on September 5th. Um which is also where Olivia Wilde was like sidestepping all of the rumors about it. Yeah, and it so, was all bad. <laughs> Olivia Wilde was asked about like, is there a falling out? Why isn't Florence here? And she said, Florence is a force and we are so grateful that she's able to make it tonight despite being in production on Dune. I know as a director how disruptive it is to lose an actor for even a day. So I'm very grateful to her, to Dennis Villeneuve for helping us. And we're really thrilled we get to celebrate her work tonight. I can't say enough how honored I am to have her as our lead. She's amazing in the film. As for all the endless tabloid gossip and all the noise out there, I mean, the internet feeds itself. I don't feel the need to contribute. It's sufficiently well nourished. Shut up. And I can't help but laugh because I'm surprised you knew that her name was Florence and not Miss Flo. Yeah, who knew? That's for one. And secondly, you're a damn liar. All your receipts, your video. <laughs> it's not a deep fake that came from WhatsApp, right? Like not it's, a it's deep you. Fake. <laughs> it's you showing your whole ass. And then now you're just going to lie and be like endless ta- tabloid gossip. It's you. You got caught. And Shia LaBeouf said, here you go. Here you go. <laughs> yeah, it, literally. Um, but that's not all. No. The Venice oh, Film Festival. Because so at the premiere of the movie, they show the film. And Harry Styles comes to take his seat next to Chris Pine. And the video looks like Harry Styles spits on Chris Pine. Like his mouth makes like a like a spitting motion. Did Harry Styles spit on Chris Pine? You tell us. I think he did. Okay. He I did. think he did. Um I'll so fight I don't, to the death. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I don't think he like spit like a loogie. Like it wasn't no. like a big thing or anything. But he like walks up, he looks down, he goes. And then Chris Pine, like, looks up and kind of smiles. So I think that this might be, like, it's something that they've talked about. Maybe it's some sort of game that they're playing. I saw some theory that maybe they've been spitting seeds at each other as a game, which, like, listen, I don't know what men do for fun. I I can't make sense of it. But, like, he he spat on him and I'll go to the grave. 
saying no, that. No, he hundred percent spat. Okay, I don't care what anyone says because here's the thing: I watched the video way too many times. Chris Pine is chewing gum, right? And Harry's. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing. So I feel like Harry Styles was either spitting out his gum, but I don't. But I oh. don't think it could actually be the gum because you mm -hmm. know I think Chris Pine would have been a little bit more angry. That's number one. Okay. Second, I believe that it was a dare or something they're mm. they're doing because Chris Pine laughed, right? And that laugh, if you watch enough YouTube videos of like where people are, you know, have to perform checklists, that's exactly the face that the other people, right, that that are not doing yes. the dare have. Like they're very much like, oh my God. Oh, he did it. I can't believe it, but gosh darn it, he did it. So that's number two. And then three, this is why I believe it's a dare. Because at the end of the, the screening, he kissed Nicole. Harry Styles did. Like, straight yeah. up, mouth to mouth kiss. Which, again, felt like this is part of their, like, there's some checklist, allegedly, or yeah. some dare. You know, it, it feels like it's all part of it. Well, and, like, it's so, okay. I agree completely. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm just watching the video over and over again here um, just to make sure that I'm seeing everything. The other thing, too, is so, like, we've dissected Harry Styles' actions. We've dissected Chris Pine's reaction. Olivia Wilde is right next to Chris Pine, and she looks kind of like... It's like when you're dating someone and they are, like, doing something you don't want them to do, but you can't say anything because you're in public, and it's like, oh, we're going to talk about this later. Like, she just kind of, like little closed mouth like mm. yeah this is like, who I like am. this oh this is happening this is who I yeah. this is who I lay with <laughs> you Not you're good. you're dating a kid what do you expect how old is Harry Styles now I feel like he's adult he's in his 20s aged. he's 20s 20 something uh so listen you tell us because I believe that there was some action but I I don't think it was like for a I don't think it was malicious. At yes, all. I think it was part of some dare, some scavenger hunt, something to spice things up. Yes, and I did. I made a poll on the mess maintenance Twitter this yes. morning. Did Harry Styles spit on Chris Pine? The options were yes, no, it was an accident. Currently, yes is winning with fifty four point three percent, and it was an accident is at thirteen percent. So only thirty two point six percent. If even the messengers think that there was no spitting. Please. All right. And then, like, there was a rep for Chris Pine that said it's complete fabrication. It's ridiculous. Nothing happened. Um, It's just, like, angles. Um, no. Imagine being the PR person who has to explain, like, oh, so you guys, you spat on him, and now I have to say you didn't. Like, I have to gaslight the world. Awesome. Got They've it. done much worse. Because right. here's right. the other thing. Are they... Because I also feel like Harry and Olivia have broken up. Ooh. So that's why I feel like I none it. of this makes sense I anymore. Um, because if so, right before the red carpet premiere, um, right where you were talking about um, the press conference that uh, Florence P was absent from. And, you know, they're like, oh, Dune, blah, blah, blah. Well, turns out she posted a video of her in Venice. While that was happening, and uh, Florence P was just like around, she posted yeah. Venice and just drinking, um, with the uh, with the spritz in her yeah. hand, not a care in the world, okay, which is fine. We need to be like her, yes. So she's already dragging. Then Harry Styles is crazy ass, okay. They they split everyone up to do some more interviews, and Harry and Chris were paired together, all right. And mm. this is where it gets weird, y'all, because and you you just everyone needs to look it up because Harry. It's talking to press, okay? And he goes, my favorite thing about the movie is, like, it feels like a movie. <laughs> and he just says that over and over again. What does it mean? Well, it what? And this is the man that allegedly brings all the style and grace to your movie. Okay. I mean, I guess it looks like he brings style when he's standing next to Chris Pine. Like, what is Chris pine wearing what happened to chris pine oh yeah his beard's gone here yeah his beard is gone but it's the hair but he's got know. the long hair and i feel like his pants like don't really fit yeah and like i don't know i just so hot but damn so, what happened? he used to be so hot yeah and then 
Harry also said my favorite. Yeah. So then you could just see Chris Pine, right? Just like, again, look at the video. Um, yeah. And you can see Chris Pine being like, I just want to end it all. Like, it's yeah. time. Like, we're done. It's time. It's over. Oh, my God. Yeah. And then Florence showed up in a Valentino couture dress. Looked stunning. Fire. And then her stylist shared Ooh. a picture of her and wrote Miss Flo as the caption. <laughs> the, shade, the shade is real. Oh, my God. Okay. Yes. I so, um, and a lot of stuff happened, but basically it looks like Flo is... Miss Flo is good with everyone but Harry and Olivia, which also people think Harry and her had hooked up. Now that is something I'd be interested in. Because yeah. this is also like a lot of this timeline is also overlapped with Florence Putaining Zach Braff. Yes. Which like she's so much better than that. I, I know we talked about the relationship when they announced their breakup, uh, but uh, she just so much better than that. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, yeah. And then, like, Nick Kroll and Chris Pine were taking pictures of her on the red carpet. It's so cute. Yeah. Chris Pine has, like, the, the like, cameras that we used to have in the 90s. And disposable. Yeah, disposable. Thank you. Very cute. But then there is a video, Kirsten. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, of someone. Um, like a staff person on the red carpet. She's a woman in black. Um, and uh, it's at I'm a spell my name. That's their Twitter okay. uh, that posted this video. And basically, there's a person dressed in black that is like making Harry being like, you need to stand next to Olivia. You need to stand next to Olivia. And Harry's just like frozen like this. I don't want to get around. Yeah. And he's just acting like he didn't okay. hear it. And they're not standing together. There's a person between them. Okay. I like this. I like this theory, Sasha. I, I can't wait till we hear about their breakup announcement in like yes. six months. Yep. And then it's just, and I'll like, re- and I'll make sure to retweet it on the Best Magnets yes. Twitter. But yeah, so look at the video. Tell me what y'all think. And mm-hmm. then, um, but a lot of pictures are like Olivia staring at Harry and Harry just like not giving two Oh no. About Awkward. It. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Uh, and then, and um, when they were sitting together at the premiere, Chris Pine is sitting between Between Harry. them. Yeah. Why? And then he spat at Chris Pine. <laughs> yeah. And, then, <laughs> um, and like, they're not making any eye contact at all. It's awkward. Yeah. Very so it awkward make, vibes. It's very weird, y'all. Uh, and then that's it, basically. And then he ends up, um, like, some people were thinking there's a sunglass theory. Like, just shut up. No. None of you this know, people are saying sense. Chris Pine was, like, wearing his sunglasses so he could sleep through the movie. And then he looked down and got them. And that's why he was smiling. I don't I don't buy it. He was spat on. I refuse. But he was okay I with it. Literally, I think lots of people would be okay with being spat on by Harry Styles. I think not me. But many like, accounts dedicated yeah. to fan fiction <laughs> writing just that. Okay. <laughs> uh, but that's, yeah, that's it. And then Florence yeah. uh, and sorry, Olivia had a nice moment where they like clapped at each other. Who cares? But Harry Styles again. Was just standing around, person, just looking <laughs> sideways, like what's going on. He's While like, everyone I don't know what to do, yeah, it's like a three minute standing ovation for her, and he's just looking back and forth, confused. Oh my god! And not clapping, just like confused. No, not that. So you hate that's to see it. it. And then he kisses Nicole, and that is the full <laughs> timeline of "Don't Worry, Darling." Whew, that is like our Everest. <laughs> 